Mount Kobo, 17 kilometers northwest of Osoyoos, overlooking Richter Pass, was a planned site in the 60s for an astrophysical observatory. A big road was constructed for movement of equipment, but the plan was never completed. The area since 1991 has been part of the South Okanagan Grasslands Protected Area. We're heading towards Testalinden Lake, just above Centre Right. Little water in it in the late summer. In June 2010, a small dam retaining the lake washed out, sending water and debris almost eight kilometres downstream before it fanned out through houses and orchards, damaging several homes and closing Highway 97 for some time. washout caused additional slides and slumps downstream, which remain a potential threat as slope failure could cause damming of the creek and additional debris flows. The Testalinden fires in 2015 resulted in vegetation loss that can affect runoff. In spring 2017, an evacuation alert was in place for 15 homes as heavy rain resulted in new debris flows. Blame for the washout can be spread around, from the then dam owner, a rancher, lack of maintenance and a lack of oversight from authorities who had been aware of potential dangers for decades. Although a protected area, some damaging activities are permitted in the area, including range cattle grazing. More on that issue on our website. We're looking towards the Soyuz Lake with the white area spotted lake in the foreground and then following up the Okanagan River Valley. The area was included in preliminary outlines for a national park. After years of inactivity, that plan is being discussed again.